Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to FMTB. Um, quite a lot has happened since the last episode in terms of players leaving and players arriving. Let's, let's look at the results first um, and I'll tell you what's happened. So the last match we saw was against Stortford and we drew three all. Since then we got knocked out of the FA Trophy by Harrogate, which I'm really not happy about. Um, even though we played well, we took the lead, we still ended up losing. We then beat Bromley and Eastbourne. Um, with a goal here from Tunkara and an own goal and against Bromley we had a goal from Ngoy and a goal from Mills. Since then we haven't won. We lost 5-3 against Concord Rangers. Uh, an own goal from Ngoy cancelling out his opening goal and then goals also from Ngesson and Mills. Um, Bath we drew one all, goal from Tunkara. And then Chelmsford which was our last match we lost 3-2, goals from Ngesson and Mills. And you hear me say Ngesson and that's because in terms of players arriving, we have this player here, Aaron Tumwa, who's a centre-back slash left-back. He has joined us from um, Farnborough for 20k, although it's, um, I think it's like 4k up front and 16k over 48 months, so not too expensive really. And I think he's worth it. You see, he's, you know, Blackburn, went from Wealdstone to Blackburn and then down to Farnborough and then to, to us. Used to play at Watford, never actually played for Watford, nor did he actually play for Blackburn. But, you know, the experience, that's part of it as well. Um, we've also brought in Irvine till the end of the season. And Gesson, we've brought him in till the end of the season. You can see he's scored twice in four games for us. He's on loan from Stevenage. Um, good young player. I really do like and Gesson. I think he's a very, very good signing for us. Also down here, we've brought in Reese Conley, a attacking midfield slash striker. Well, winger slash striker. Uh, he's on non-contract terms. When he gets match fit, we might be bringing him into the squad. We've also got this guy here. Now, you'll have to excuse me a second whilst I try and pronounce the name. Farhad. That bit's easy. Um, Rokarambwe. Forgive me if I've got that wrong. Not the best stats, as you can see. But I've played as Portsmouth in the past. As you can see, that's where he's on loan from. Um, and he is a very, very good player on there. Last year, for Manager 2014, he becomes a championship uh, class midfielder. Very, very good player. So, the opportunity came to sign him on loan. He was recommended to me by one of my scouts, and I jumped at the chance. Portsmouth were happy for him to come on loan. He was happy to come on loan. Deal was done. And I am looking to Portsmouth for players. They have some players that I want to look out for. Um, one of the players I want to look out for, actually, let's see if I can find him on this list. I want to find out what happened to Adam Webster. Not you. Other Adam Webster. Although you look good, actually. No. Search. This is Adam Webster. Oh, he's still there. Get a scout report on him. Um, no interest in joining us at the moment. I'm sure that will change over time. Done it again. This guy. How good are you? You're 34, mind. Not a spring chicken. Anyway. Um, let's go back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Here's what we're doing today. We're playing Borenwood in the Vanarama South. And we've dropped a third with our recent run of results, which I'm not best pleased with either. I, you know, we've seen better days, let's put it that way. Um, so I'd like us to improve. So without further ado, what changes am I going to make to the starting 11? Well, I'm going to put Gune in goal instead of Atkins. Um... <clears throat> I would like to start Tunkara up front, but I don't want to move Mills, because he's scoring for us at the moment. I'd like to bring Tumwa into the lineup, but he's only got 86% condition right now. I do want to bring in this guy, though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Abdullah there, Torres onto the bench instead of Deering, and I'm going to start with Farhad there. Everybody else? 
I'm pretty much happy with. Yemi's not quite back to full fitness, so he'll have another game on the uh, in the reserves. So let's see how this gets on, shall we? Let's see how we get on with this. Um, I won't state the obvious and say what I'm looking for, because, you know, an improvement. It's a fairly obvious answer, really. Just any kind of improvement in the way we play, the way we attack. Try and keep a clean sheet if we can. Um, you might have noticed I'm starting to build a very, very young squad. I'm getting rid of the old players. I'm bringing in young players. Uh, I'd like to keep some experience. We have still got some older players out there. Um, but in terms of building for the future, that's what I'm all about at the moment. Players like Ngessen and Farhad. And he, in some cases, Irvine as well and Johnson. They're the future of this club. They're the players who I want to bring in next season as well, if I'm allowed to, by both my board and the opposition board. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to build my team around those sorts of players. Right, Lippmann on the ball. And that's a foul from Cadmore. Not a very good challenge from him. He's probably going to be booked for that. Is he going to be booked for that? No, just a warning. Unusual. Normally, players get booked for, ch booked for challenges like that. Cross in from Montgomery. Headed down. Uh, there's the punishment. Lippmann with the goal. Again, it's just poor defending. We're not picking the man up. we got enough players in the box there. Marking. And yet, the header comes down and no one is marking Lippmann. They're all marking... What does it say? Le Le Bayot, Le Bois, and yet he still won the header despite the fact he had three men round him. Unbelievable. That was a very, very good equalising goal though from Johnson. I've noticed something actually with Ryan Johnson. Matches where he's played right back for us, and I'm guessing has played right midfield, they link up very well together, those two. And it's shown again there. I'm guessing straight onto Johnson's head. And it is that Steamish connection. They both come through the Steamish Academy together. And um, they know each other very well because of that. And it shows. They link up well. They play well. I'm guessing and guessing knew exactly where Johnson would be there. Not just because of my tactics, but also because they know each other. If that mechanic is built into the game, then that's a very clever game. And there's and guessing with a really, really good chance. Hit the post and then um, miss the rebound. Driver with the cross. Mills is header into the keeper's hands. Boreham Wood are directly below us in the league. If we can win this match, it opens some space between us. They drop to 46 points, we rise to 56 points. There'd be a 10 point gap between us. That's quite a big deal at this stage of the season. But we are going to have to come from behind again because Ricky Shakes has just made it to... What a name, Ricky Shakes. Unbelievable. What a name. Lobjoit, that's his name. Lobjoit. I don't know how you pronounce it. All I know is Cadball should have done better in the right back position there. There's Nguessen. Oh, he's put it wide. I did try and sign another right back from Portsmouth. Young right back. Um, it didn't look like we can get him on loan. And to buy him, even though he's interested in joining us, even in a full on transfer, to buy him, apparently, according to Portsmouth, would have cost us £300,000, which we don't have, um, because we're not made of money, like some teams. Um, so we had to ditch that one. I think he's on youth contract terms, that's why we couldn't sign him uh, on loan, sorry, couldn't sign him on loan, because I think he's still on a youth contract. Alright, Mills through to Ngessen, hits the post again, again couldn't get on the rebound, and it's cleared for a throw in to us. Come on, boys. Pick it up a little bit. Let's keep the pace going. Alright, that's half time. Um, I would like to make some changes. I've got nothing against Mills. He's done really well in this first half. My problem really is with Kissuk. I haven't seen him on the ball as much, and that does bother me. So I think Tunkara up front and move Mills out to the left hand side. Keep him guessing where he is, keep Farhad where he is. 
He's actually having a good game. He's our best player. Well, he was our best player out there. But no, he is still our best player out there. Second best player, sorry. Johnson's on 7.4. Oh my god. We're 3-1 down. Lippmann with the goal. See, it's the way it's the way this works. If we win, we go 10 points clear. If Braun would win, we're only 3 points clear. 3 points or was it 5 points? It must be 5 points, actually. I can't count. Let me have a look in a second. I'm trying to do it from memory. Four points clear. Yeah, there's a six point swing in this, basically. So we need to, to shape it up a little bit. Torres, let's bring him on. Okay, Farhad's had a good game, but Torres makes things happen. So we're going to bring him on. Kind of wish I'd taken off Irvine now, because he's not having a great game out there. He's only on 6.3. That's 4-1. Another case of poor defending. We seem to play them all on side, but don't actually mark them. Like here, Montgomery. Ball in. Where's where's Cox's man? Where's his marker? Weird. There's Tunkara, though. Got one back. That's a great goal. That is a great goal. Ball over the top. Let it come over his shoulder. Finished it. Perfect. Okay. Come on, boys. Pick it up. we got 20 minutes left. Let's score twice. In fact, preferably, let's score three times. Uh, Hill's on for driver. No, wait. Hill's on for Ngoy. And, and then Hill's swap with driver. And then driver swap with Cadmore. Driver at right back. Hill's at left back. Cadmore inside. Come on. Time's running out. Got to make this count. It doesn't look good for us right now. It does not look good. Come on. At least get one back. Make it a tight finish. Make it 4-3. Driver with the long ball over. Nowhere near Tunkara's run. Torres now plays it. Tunkara will run onto it. Is he going to beat the keeper? No. It comes back to Torres. Shoot. Hit it. Oh. Tunkara. Yes. Okay. 4-3. Torres should have taken that himself. I feel like he should have anyway. Like there, he could have just lobbed the keeper. He's got the ability. I mean, Tunkara managed it. In off the crossbar, mind. It was a very close one. Come on, boys. One more goal. That's all we need. I, I will take a draw. It keeps them the same number of points behind us. Hayes and Yedding don't look like they're going to catch Braunwood anytime soon. So this will do us good. We can then go to the match against St. Albans with a bit more confidence because we didn't lose. I mean, we've lost two of our last three matches and drawn the other. We need a pick-me-up. Ball over from Hills to Mills. Controls it well. Great ball out wide to Irvine. He needs to make something happen. Goes down in the box. Penalty. Oh, man, above. We have a penalty. Come on, make it count. Who's taking it? Torres? No, that's not Torres. Who's that? Normally I'd check on the radar for squad numbers, but they're all wearing mishmash numbers right now. That's not Irvine. Hills. Oh, goodness. Yes! Four all. And we still have time. We can grab a winner if we really, really, really push. Oh, I went for the wrong thing. I probably should have just gone for overload. Win that. Get the ball, Cadmore. Okay, play it back to keeper. Come on, push forward. Go forward. Try and score. Right, Tunkara. 
over the top for Mills. That's a great ball from Tunkara. Mills into the box, crosses it. Oh, I've seen better crosses than that. Let's put it that way. <sighs> okay, I'll take a four-all draw. I'll take a four-all draw. I've got a little bit more work to do in the transfer window, as you can see. Um, who did we have leave us? We had goalkeepers leave. Oh, Casabea, he's left as well. He got a bit shirty because um, he wasn't in the team. So I said, okay, you can leave if you want. And he said, okay, so I let him go. Um, he did go to another team. I think he went to Margate, but it was a free transfer. I just wanted to get him off the wage bill, really. So if you look here now, our wage bill's dropped by £2,000 a week. Um, our transfer budget's gone down slightly as well because we, we did buy a couple of players. But uh, in terms of transfer dealings, I would like to do more still. We did sign Muhammad Ali, but he hasn't got a work permit. I don't really know what to do about that right now. He's on the development list. I tried to loan him out. I'll try again, but no one was really interested. Might be because of the whole work permit thing. Anyway, guys. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, let me have a look at the schedule very quickly. I'll tell you when we will be back next. I think here, the Hazen Yedding game, and then we'll do the Hemel Hempstead match, and then we'll do the Haven and Waterlooville match, and then if we're in the playoffs after that, obviously we'll show all of those. Um, but I kind of like this format. I like skipping out time because it gives me something to talk about at the start of each episode, and you know, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit and watch a hundred episodes again of me doing just two and a bit seasons. I'm sure it could be a lot more exciting for you than that. So, uh, like I say, we'll come back, we'll do the Hayes and Yelling game, and then we'll take it from there. So until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed watching. And until next time, I will see you soon.